Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rename the display based on a condition. So we are renaming the column display based on a certain conditions. I will show you some example. So the first way to rename the column without changing it here is by going to the display section and then you can just manually type any text here so i'm going to use this name of so currently the name is only name so i'm going to insert a text of text all right so that's the first um, way to rename the display column without changing the name the actual names of the column i mean in your table second way is based on selection let's say if you choose dine in then you want to display here let's say table number if you use takeaway then you will display the customer name so what you can do is by using the statement if statement we can do that so i'm going to use if type is equals to let's say dine in so what you wanted to name the column so i wanted to name let's say table number otherwise keep it as a name okay so this is the single uh, selection single statement All right, see if I choose dine in, change the table number, if you choose takeaway, change to name. And what if there are multiple selections here? You wanted to uh, rename this display column as per the selection. So you need to use the if statement, which is a multiple conditions. So what we have here is ifs. So let's say if type is equals to dine in, then uh, table number. Then another one is let's say type is equals to um, take away. Then Let's say customer name. Okay, and then you can uh, you can put as much as you can here. So currently I have just two selections: so uh, dine in and uh, takeaway. So if you have multiple, you can just continue this format. All right, so here, if I choose dine in, it's table number, and if I choose takeaway, it's customer name. Either of the two, and also another another scenario is in a specific view. If let's say you have some slices, you created a slice in your table, and you wanted to change the display only on that slice, so you can do that as well. Let's create first a slice. Let's say this is slice. I'm gonna name this as a slice okay then i'm gonna create a view new view and then the view will be from from the slice and i'm gonna name this as a slice as well okay it's save let's um going to remove the formula in here in the display because we don't want to affect the main table so this is a example Let's say if you have a slice okay so here is when we adding a data it's dine uh, the name will be dine in takeaway and this is the target columns that we have and i wanted only to this to change if if i am in this slice 
this one if I'm not in this slice I don't want to change the table I mean the column name so in order to do that you can go back to the main table which is the slice came from we were going to change the display only in a specific view so to get the view you have to go first here to slice so if you wanted to change the view in the main view or in the form view or in a detail view let's say I'm going to change the the view this is a form view so the name of the view is slice form okay so I'm going to the main table display so we're gonna use here the in if sorry if in context so we're gonna use this time the context view context view is list what is the list the list and then you can insert here the slice form this is the this is the view name okay so if in context uh, view list slice form okay what you want to name so I want to name this as let's say customer name customer test for example as you will see otherwise name okay so if in this context view list slice form meaning if I am in this view in this slice I wanted I wanted to change this name so these are only a few example uh, wherein you can use for a guide for your creating this app as you can see guys let's try uh. this is the main table and this is the main table that's showing name if I am in a slice if I'm adding this change to a customer test so this is how to define it okay and there are there are also more ways to name the table um, I mean the column let's say if you are in the specific in a detail view so for example I'm going to add a data here okay so now we have a data here and this name I wanted to change this if in if in detail view I wanted to change this into customer name so what you can do uh, go back to display and you can just remove this if in sorry if context no need to put in context view view type is equals to detail then customer test 001 at least you will see the difference otherwise name for example so this is uh, in this example uh, we are defining the display of the column name based on a based on a view type so we have the view type the detail and the form all right so let's uh, let's view again as you can see it changes the uh, customer test 001 in a view type so you can play with it so this is just an idea for you on how to change certain column display based on a certain conditions and if you wanted to change this as well into if you want just to put it in the form type you can just change this into form and then it changed accordingly also you can combine those expression that I mentioned earlier in one conditions and uh, that's it so if you learn something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video